The new service is really easy to use. Homes will get two new caddies, one for the kitchen and a larger lockable one for outside. And they'll also get a roll of biodegradable liners for these caddies. When this is finished, you can easily pick up some more from the local supermarket or hardware store. Alternatively, you can use newspaper in the caddies. But please do not use carry bags because they can't be recycled. Remember, these are just for food. So, what can we put in our caddies? Well, pretty much anything. From out of date food, to peelings, leftovers, meat, fish, bones, or eggshells. Now, if you compost already, that's great, keep doing that. But this new service can also take the meat and the fish and the bones that you can't put in your compost. So, remember, when you've finished preparing your food and you've got a load of peelings, scrape those in your caddy. When you've finished your meal and you've got some leftover food, scrape it in your caddy. Out of date food, that can go in the caddy. But remember, the packaging can't be, that can't be recycled. These are just for food. So what else can't we put in? Oils, liquids, and medicines. That's about it. And if you have a little bit of a spillage, and you need to use some kitchen roll to clear it up, please don't put this in. Because remember, they're just for food. So each week, when you bring out your black sack, you bring out your caddy as well, which will then be collected and taken to the recycling centre. But what happens to it then? Let's find out. Here at Country Style at Rhythm, when the vehicle arrives on site, the load will go to the weighbridge where the load is weighed. The vehicle will then be sent to the processing shed. Once in the shed, it will discharge its load, where the load is inspected for any contamination of plastics. A loading shovel will then load the material into the processing line where it's shredded. Once it's shredded, it will then be put into a vessel where it's cooked to 70 degrees for one hour to kill E. coli and salmonella that's contained in the food waste. Once the load is cooked and sterilised, it is then taken out of the building onto the maturation area where it matures for eight weeks. After eight weeks, the material is screened and the product will go to local farmers in Kent. So our new food recycling scheme means that any wasted food is mixed with garden waste to make compost, which is then used to help grow more food. Clever, eh?